pleasure to introduce the mayor of the city of New York, the Honorable Michael Bloomberg. George, thank you. Decade after decade after decade. Well, how many decades have we been doing this? Uh, well, decade after decade after decade after decade. Uh, right. <laughs> and uh, I think uh, you and I, it seems like lots of decades, actually. No, this is one of the more uh, serious days of the year. This is not a publicity stunt. This is a serious competition to settle an age-old argument. Who, which man and which women, woman can eat more hot dogs quicker than anybody else? I think that's the objective here, right? That is the objective. All right, that's good. Well, anyways, I don't think there's any question this city is top dog in the culinary world. Marcia, Mar Mar don't shake your head because there's a lot more to come. I think we just got this off the word process of the last year, and we'll try to do this before that thunderstorm hits us. Uh, we've got international offerings to satisfy even the choosiest chow hound. I'll tell you, I'll emphasize so you'll know which ones to write down, right? Uh, but there's one iconic delicacy whose pedigree is pure NYC and one very special occasion that elevates its consumption to gastronomic glory. And you know what I'm talking about, the Nathan's Famous Fourth of July Hot Dog Eating Contest. Now, let me be perfectly frank. <laughs> this is one of my favorite traditions. I relish it so much. Uh, I insisted that City Hall donate the condiments. And as you can see behind us, what do we have there? Ketchup in the park. Uh, though at the rate these guys eat, I'm not sure that's going to be enough ketchup. Anyways, tomorrow tens of thousands of people will line the Coney Island boardwalk to see the big event. They'll come to find out if Joey Jaws Chestnut will swallow the competition and take home a sixth straight title. If first ever female champ Sonia Thomas can top her record of 40 HDBs, to use the technical term, hot dog buns, or if one of their dogged pursuers will finally catch up cut the mustard and be pronounced wiener. No question, it's going to be a dog fight. Just think of how many we got into one sentence. That was really impressive. Who wrote this shit? <laughs> When Nathan's held the first hot dog eating contest almost a hundred years ago, yeah. that's ten decades almost, just right. if you can't count all that. No one could have imagined what an international phenomenon it would become, or that you and I would be standing here, or to what heights today's competitive eaters would raise the bar. Back then, eating 20 hot dogs in 10 minutes was considered an incredible, unedible feat. For many of this year's con contestants, however, that would be considered an appetizer. But no matter who wins tomorrow, anyone who goes to Coney Island will have a chance to take on the great new attractions at the Screen Zone. Thanks to unprecedented investment from the city, Coney Island, I'm happy to say, is once again vibrant with excitement. So I hope you'll all head out to Coney Island tomorrow, and whether you're in the contest or not, do yourself a favor. After eating a Nathan's, wait a few minutes before getting on the cyclone. So good luck to all the contestants, and have a great July 4th.